within two years we've had two fatalities with two um, rescues on the same body of water. Recent deaths have raised awareness of a dangerous body of water in Tippecanoe County. Good evening, I'm Laura Kirtley. After an accidental drowning in Wildcat Creek, emergency responders want to warn residents. Renetta Dubos joins us with some tips that could save a life. Renetta? Well, or the last two years have been tragic out at the Wildcat Creek near the park off Eisenhower Road. But emergency responders in Lafayette say it is possible to have fun in the creek and remain safe. Assistant Lafayette Fire Chief Richard Doyle says the Wildcat Creek has a dangerous history. So two years ago, about the same time, there was a 15-year-old Hispanic uh, male that drowned also. On this same body of water, there were two uh, men that were swept down the creek uh, late. Actually, it was late at night. It was about 10 o'clock, but they were able to grab onto a, a limb that was in the in the creek and hang on until we were able to rescue those two men. Doyle says a lot of people are trained to swim in a pool and assume they can do the same thing in a creek. The bottom of this body of water differs from somewhere between 10 to 12 feet and um, ankle deep. But most people, unless they live on this body of water, don't understand where those, where the depths are. Doyle says another problem, which may have led to the recent drowning and the death two years ago, is the moving currents. But he says there is still a way to have fun and remain safe. The best thing is to have a, a personal flotation device, some, similar to what I have on. Um, you can purchase them at any, you know, Kmart, Walmart, Dick's, Sporting Goods, and stuff like that. It's the best way to experience this type of recreation. West Lafayette resident Dan Oprah and some friends came to cool down in the creek off Eisenhower Road. Although they know about the recent drowning, Oprah says protecting himself is a second thought. If I really took that much time to really think about it, I'd probably be like, guys, let's bring something to be safe, but probably just in the spark at the moment, like, let's go to Wildcat, and that'd be it. If you're like Oprah and not sold on bringing a flotation device, Doyle says bring a buddy and a milk jug tied to a rope. It can fill in as a life preserver. If all else fails and you are swept downstream, Doyle says stay calm. Try to swim diagonally or, or towards shore. The current's going to move you downstream. Don't try to fight that current, but just swim um, towards shore, and it will, it will push you over to one of the shores. Renata Dubose, News Channel 18.